In today's video we're taking a quick look on the Resident Evil 8 or Resident Evil Village demo on the PlayStation 5. We are going to talk about HDR, textures, frame rate and sound. Enjoy! Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel Armag for All and before we start with the game let's have a quick look in the option menu and there is not many interesting or much interesting to see actually. So we have the controls, uh, we have the camera settings, we have game settings. Not quite sure what damage display actually means. You can change it from low to normal. Uh, it looks like the explanation is change how much damage taken is displayed on the screen. So I haven't seen any damage taken in the time or in the let's play when I recorded or maybe I missed it. Um, graphic menu, as you can see, we have HDR mode enabled and the brightness settings is what we actually know from Resident Evil games so far. It's with this white um, square in the middle and then this one. So at the moment I'm using HGHG. I'm not sure if this is the right mode later on, but I will probably do a HDR analyze video on the, f uh, on the final game, so not on the demo version. But let's say it like this, I recorded my let's play with HGHG and I haven't had any issue to yeah, see all the stuff or HGHG or HDR was really, really nice to yeah, look at actually. Okay, so we have audio. I haven't changed any, no, that's not right. I changed dynamic range from small to large. Uh, headphones were, was already pre-select. I haven't tried virtual surround. So it's the standard setting is off. I haven't changed it to on. Not sure actually what is the difference, but I have to say in terms of sound, um, I rather have a very good, nice two speaker system or a very nice uh, stereo headphone uh, than virtual surround sound or something like that, okay? And I have to say the sound in this game and yeah, if you like to hear it, then just watch my Let's Play on my other channel. The sound is really, really great and absolutely creepy. So I really like it because with the headphones, it's it really sounds as you, as if you are in the game, uh, completely in the world, okay? So how I don't know how to describe it, but it feels like you are in the middle of the game, okay? Which is great. So um, did I miss anything? Of course, language, we have play, play data, shared play data. Um, not quite sure what this is at the end, to be very honest. And of course we have default, which resets everything to default. And now let's have a look on the game. It's not a surprise that Resident Evil is a very dark game. So I had to adjust my TV and my camera to show you something on your screen. And as always, it's very hard for my um, camera to yeah, get all the details, but I think I did a good job so I can show you everything what is on the screen, hopefully. Um, also what I have done is I try not to spoiler anything. So I more or less rushed through the levels already and uh, did all the scary moments uh, for you already. So you will not see them because I don't want to spoiler really, okay? So if you like to play this demo, then this demo is more or less spoiler free at the moment. And I hope I can keep it like this, okay? There are a couple of things I like to talk. Uh, it's uh, about yeah, HDR, a little bit uh, textures. I like to talk about uh, frame rate and maybe a little bit more about um, sound. And I think we're starting about um, talking about textures. Okay, and when we're talking about textures, then I have to say I'm not very impressed with the texture quality. When we go a little bit closer here, um, it is very, yeah, how should I say, not a very high resolution. Uh, I mean, we have 60 frames per second, uh, but we talk about 60 frames per second a little bit later. So in terms of the textures and overall graphic quality from the game, um, it is okay, but nothing outstanding, okay? So there's nothing uh, what I would say it is a new milestone or something like that. It is nice to look at, but that's it, okay? Um, looking forward for the Xbox demo version and also the PC version because uh, at the moment this... Why well, I can't go there? Because of you? Because right now this demo is just available on the PlayStation 5. And of course I like to see what uh, the PC version uh, will show us in terms of 4K and high res resolution. Because again... Uh, it's okay, but it's not a new standard, okay? 
when it comes to HDR, then this is really nice to look at, okay? So have a look here. The fire is really, really nice. It's very, very bright at this very moment and I really like the HDR effects. Uh, what I'm missing actually is a little bit more light effects, to be very honest, because, but on the other hand, of course, this game is very, very dark, of course, yeah, but um, more light effects to use the HDR would be actually nice, you know, and I think it wouldn't destroy the, um, yeah, atmosphere at all, because we should have a little bit more light effects, especially in these rooms here, you know what I mean? There is a little bit less, but anyway, the overall impression when we're talking about HDR is really, really good. The, the overall impression from graphic effects or yeah, the graphic overall impression is of course something different. But when we're just talking about HDR, I really like it at the moment. It's again, it's also not a new standard. It's something what we have seen already, but we have seen already much worse things as well. The game runs in 60 FPS, but unfortunately not always perfect. In this room here, we have heavy stuttering, uh, not heavy stuttering, but we have noticeable stuttering so far just in this room, but this proves a point that we actually really would need VRR on the PlayStation or the developer needs to do a proper job, okay? So don't get me wrong, it's just a demo version. This can be fixed in the final game, of course. Um, I'm not quite sure if this game is actually using a dynamic resolution because then it shouldn't stuttering uh, or maybe the dynamic resolution is not working as expected but this of course is a little bit of a downside uh, I would not like to see this in the final game but again it's just a demo version and yeah hopefully it gets fixed. According to a couple of websites the PlayStation 5 demo version runs in native 4k which would explain why we have sometimes a little bit of issues with the frame rate here in this room as well. Very minor uh, compared to the uh, big hall, but it is noticeable. Um, again, it's a demo version. We still have a little bit time uh, till the game will be released. I hope that we don't see any stuttering in the final game. But again, I'm not sure about this. I rather have a little bit of a lower resolution like 1440p and then if it's working a higher frame rate actually, higher than 60 FPS, but yeah, I'm just dreaming, okay? So far the demo version here as well, very nice stuttering. So far the demo version makes a, a, a okay impression to me, okay? It's, it's nothing new what I have seen so far. The graphic is okay. It's also not a big milestone or something new. Uh, the sound is really nice. I like the sound, I have to say. Uh, because this is also very um, important for the atmosphere, in my opinion. Not just graphic or the graphic design or style. Also, the sound is very important. And yeah, again, if you like to see the full let's play from the demo, then check out my other channel. Because uh, again, I like not to spoiler too much in my first impression videos. Uh, because maybe people like to play this game, okay? And just like to have a quick sneak or peek, what is the sneak peek, peek in? Look, look at the game, okay? Let's say like this, okay. Anyway, I think that's enough for this video. Um, so far, it's okay. So if I would have to rate it from zero to 10, I would say it's a seven, okay? Something like that. Uh, for sure not an eight. It's a solid game, but yeah, that's it. Okay, and that's for this video today and I hope I showed you not too much or I showed you enough to enjoy this video. Um, just put in the comments what you like, if you like to see more from uh, Let's Plays doing my first impression videos or analyze videos or less Let's Plays because really some people doesn't want to see any spoiler at all and other people, they like to see the full game, you know what I mean? So it's very hard for me to decide what to do. I really try not to spoil it too much, but I mean, this is also spoiling at the moment, okay? Because you, you see this picture, okay? Um, but anyway, you get my point. I try not to spoil really um, key moments in a game. Uh, this is not what I'm, yeah, what I like to do. Anyway, put your thoughts or yeah, your opinion in the comments. I would much appreciate it, okay? Thank you very much for watching me and I see you next time. Bye.